Someday if I can be a researcher and I can discover mummies. Ancient Egypt stuff. Well, after graduation, I'm gonna go to college and then I can be a dialysis nurse and then I can help people with it. And I can't picture myself doing any th other job. I'd like to be an author and be able to write books and publish them and almost be as good as Mark Twain, someone like that. Something I hope to do in the future uh, is be there mentally for other cancer patients and families. I got a call from your mother. You guys were living in Arizona. Got a call saying that you were feeling weak, that you, you had pain all over, you were unable to walk, and, and you were losing weight. And this was a little eight-year-old kid that was losing weight. Grandpa ended up calling my mom and telling her about Children's Hospital. You were in such pain that you were crying. I remember carrying you off the, off the plane. Within two hours, they were, they, pain meds were happening so that the aching and the, and the pain that you were in started going away. They did a, um, a spinal tap on me and found out that I had ALL leukemia. It was years of treatment only to just have a little bit of a break to be healthy, to get your hair back enormous to where you got it, and then to have to go through it again. It was another couple of years of treatment. You were back to feeling sick, being bald. You turned to me and you said, Corey, what are we going to do if my leukemia comes back for the third time? Going through your third time, usually they don't have another treatment for you. We all hoped and we all thought that maybe we'd be able to get you on Rebecca's trial. What's so important for us as researchers and clinicians and for you as a patient and for your mom is to really say, how can we change the paradigm of how we look at and treat childhood cancers? And can we find a better way to do it that is more effective and less harmful? So what do you imagine for medical research in the future? I hope research will make it so that we can get vaccines against cancer. So you can get it every day, like every year, like you get the flu vaccine, so you don't even have to worry about getting cancer. I think the treatments are going to be much more rapid and probably more effective with fewer side effects. They've been looking into a plastic mm -hmm. kidney that you can put in and you don't need any pills or anything. It lasts way longer. My future goal is for that to work. Maybe if your blood stops flowing through your body, like maybe they could figure out how to unclog it. I hope they can find the cause of that kidney failure. It would make my life better because in that way if I had a kidney failure, they could find the place where it's starting, just cut it off and they can regrow back. I hope that in the future they can finally complete the stem cells they can just regrow an organ from your own blood and that way you don't need to wait as long maybe and you won't maybe you don't need to be on that much medication i am imagining one day to translate all these ideas that we generate here on a daily basis into cures at the bedside. I imagine a day when the patient comes in and we say, you have ALL, your treatment plan is gonna be, we take some blood from you, in a couple weeks we'll give that blood back to you, it'll be supercharged and recognize your leukemia cells and get rid of them, and in a couple months you'll go back to school. We are six months later. Right. And you have no leukemia. I'm not going to say I understand the research behind it, but I understand the importance of it. I imagine for the future of research that one day all cancers will be just as easy to cure as it is for ALL leukemia. Thank <laughs> you.